Malayalam movies we are done in like 20 days. I know, I believe so. How <laughs> do you all do that? Tell us the secret. <laughs> Come from a very different background. We're very excited because we were at Rambar. We've got Divya. Divya, we're so happy to have you with us on Fever. Thank you so much, Rohini. <laughs> do you listen to radio? Do you listen to Fever at all when you're traveling, uh, when you're shooting? Uh, to be very honest, I live in Kochi. Correct. Uh, so there we... Uh, don't have, but then I do listen to a lot, lot of radio. Imagine, so they're, they're so big. I mean, I grew up listening to them. So That's like, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to talk to you for The Village, and I believe that this is a first of sorts for you, right? Yes, yes. So why don't you tell my audience, what are the firsts that you've conquered with The Village? Okay, so this was, this is my first Tamil uh, project as well. So Correct. it's really special to me. Um, and Amazon uh, project as well. The, it, the, Gateway to this was my previous movie that released in, uh, the Manila movie that released in uh, multiple languages in uh, Amazon platform. So I'm so grateful and that's what gave me this opportunity and it got me here and uh, you know, working with the team and it was, it was, I mean, it's, it's a long project. It, it, it we mm. shot for, because it, it uh, almost a year and a half. I honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to, yeah. so for me it is like I'm just used to w working with movies Correct. and uh, in, you know, usually Malayalam movies we are done in like 20 days. I know, I believe so. How <laughs> do you all do that? Tell us the secret. <laughs> secret is, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's, they, they need to finish the movie, that they, that's a the plan, they have a Correct. plan and it's usually in, in the same lo location. location. This was, we had different multiple locations and, uh, you know, and and the the the, uh, the magical mystical part of village I is that it's based on a uh, comic you know it's uh, for me as an artist it's something new and it's something challenging mm -hmm. and that was uh, amazing and then even the whole uh, you know where uh, this is the first time i'm working with uh, prosthetics and you know people like uh, in prosthetics so seeing that itself was a bit like you were like oh my god it's scary of course you know when you when you take on a project of this scale yeah i think the scale is the first thing you with prime you can always expect scale right yeah. they have a commitment to bringing the most local rooted stories to their audiences yeah. and not compromise when it comes to giving it their all yeah. um, and i think true to that promise is of course aria being your co-star yeah. um, so talk to me about you know before signing up and after signing up because before you meet someone you always think you might know something yeah. about them yeah. so pre meeting and post show how has that changed perception to us? okay so uh, aria like you know i have only obviously like it, it's like uh, watching him on screen and you know all the songs and his dance and the movies that he's done you obviously have like a oh wow it's just like you know it's a star you but then obviously when you're working with the person uh, so me being i come from a very different background like i never expected to be a, a be in movies or mm -hmm. be in acting with so closely with people that you actually watch on TV or on screen and then suddenly they are like right next to you and then you know creating right. magic so so yeah it was it was it's always like you know I was <coughs> smitten obviously like <laughs> walk, uh, being with him but then he's so down to earth and uh, you expect that you know they're going to be like they have an air you you that's what you you don't know the person right so then and you only know the characters that they played so uh, so when you meet them in person it's a completely it, and it's just like oh, okay they're just as like me, like just yeah. normal, <laughs> very casual, chilled out uh, person, you know, like, uh, so yeah, it was very easy to work with him and mm, and he gives the space to the artist, like, you know, give give you that space. But I must say this about Divya, Divya, for someone who says that I never expected to be in the movies, her first film was with Bahat. <laughs> And now she's sitting with a film with, I mean, with a with a show with Anya. So my question is, how does one do this? <laughs> do you manifest it? Do you put it out there in the universe? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it just happened. Uh, it was just one after the other. My first movie was with Fahad. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, again, I have to thank uh, my director. Like he spotted me at my friend's wedding, and then that's how I. You know, and that, that's 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 how it was for me. I never even thought uh, that I would actually be acting, or you know, I would. Act. It was just for me. Like my friends were like, "Oh, just do this movie. It's fine. It's Fahad. You know, just do it." Yeah. And then they were. I was like, "Okay, I think you can tell your grandkids and whatever that you know you you are a movie star." You know, when I even while working or when I was I was in a corporate job and going back on my weekdays, uh, how I used to spend my uh, weekends and weekdays is going back 
home and watching series. Uh, absolutely. So friends, yes. Yes. Uh, you know, all that like friends, fringe, mm. uh, heroes. Mm. These are all the and I like that kind of Correct. the whole, you know, um, long term. Yeah, 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 kind of uh, and and doing something similar or something like that is is very exciting. It's very exciting. Mm. I never, I never even in my wildest dream thought that I'll be. Like I'll be doing such a uh, project. Are you a fan of the genre? Like, do you do you seek out? Because I tell you, I'm not. I get very scared. Yeah. And now, because of the two of you, I have to watch this show. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you have to. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but the truth is that yeah. you know this is not an easy genre for most. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you either get very scared mm -hmm. or you're saying, yeah, I don't don't think I have the guts. But personally, are yeah. you someone who seeks this content? Uh, uh for me, uh, horror is uh, something that uh, you know I am actually scared to watch uh, but this is not just horror it has a story and it's ha it, it, it has got like it's a sus more like a suspense mm -hmm. kind of a thing and, and, and uh, thriller kind of a series so mm -hmm. it's 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 not just like it's not the jump scares are going to be there definitely. of course and uh, I enjoy that mm -hmm. I kind of like close my eyes and <laughs> watch it but I it's like you know eating spicy food <laughs> correct you love spicy you you love spicy food and it's like it's like kind of like an addiction right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i kind of like that's your relationship that's my relationship with uh, yes so the genre <laughs> is like spicy food i <laughs> never expected that in this interview but that's pretty damn awesome <laughs> yeah. talk to me about your director because mm -hmm. he seems like a really cool guy yes he is uh, and you know see um, when you have such a big project in hand uh, you really have to be cool and you really have to and so many and so many characters in this series we have a lot of like different characters and uh, and and they're all important okay. and to manage all that and then the daily you get the daily in in a in a, in a set yeah. you know you have daily challenges and milind is one person that i in my experience that i've seen that he kind of kept his cool and he managed everything to get through everything and that is and that is so important mm -hmm. because it affects everybody in the set. What challenged you about the village as an actor? Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the series as a total, as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what was new for you? Mm -hmm. And uh, what have you come out saying, this is what I learned from this? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> deep. <laughs> oh my God, is it? People always say that my questions are pretty damn deep. I feel I'm scratching the surface. Uh, so, uh, I think for me, um, the wait, you know, to come, because usually, uh, um, from when you when you finish a project, when you finish shooting, you really want to see. You're you're excited, you're nervous, but you really want to see the. So for me, the I think the most challenging to be patient and to wait for, you know, for me the whole entire wait was like, you know, I'm waiting each day. Okay, when is going to, when is the release going to be? And I'm like, and I used to message uh, our uh, production as well, uh, so and everything, you know, like, ethnic release, like, yeah, for release, <laughs> like I'm waiting because, okay. and it's my first Tamil sure. project yeah, as well. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm like, uh, that that was the I think the most challenge. Finally, we are here today. And it's just two more days to go for me, and I think uh, super excited about I that. know, yeah. I can imagine. How is the Tamil? Uh, my Tamil? Amma. Uh, oh, uh, uh, my Tamil is. How do I say it? Like, I think I, I did the dubbing, and, like, I, uh, and I'm so grateful to Milan to actually give me that opportunity and trust in me to, you know, okay, fine. Because it's not my first language. Yeah. And I in the pace of like, and uh, like, I can. I and I. And I think that for an actor to be able to dub and to give that. Uh, to your voice, to uh, nobody else can. I feel like nobody else can, you know, give that life uh, to the character. Absolutely. Uh, so he gave me that opportunity, and I did it. It um, and and I enjoyed the process. It was difficult because sometimes to get the pronunciation uh, right, because I'm uh, uh, Malayalam is um, just flows, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very similar. Like the words are very similar. But I'll tell you something. Hmm. I mean, if you can speak Malayalam, then yeah. you can probably speak the Tamil. But I feel that the other way doesn't work because I'm a Tamilian and I cannot do any Malayalam at all. Uh, also a terrible Tamilian. Smart one, Mumbai Tamilian, so we're cancelled. We don't know any Tamil. Yeah. No, I mean, um, I actually Tamil, I think, is, is a very uh, simple, easy language. That's so true, actually. Yeah, I, 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 it's it's, uh, it's, it's like, beautiful. yeah, it's beautiful language also. So 
I mean, listen to a lot of Tamil music. Mm -hmm. I'm a big, huge fan of uh, Tamil movies and Fantastic. Tamil music, especially. So, so lots of Rahman. Yeah, of, 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 of course, of course. Uh, uh, Rahman and even Nelly Raja. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Nice. This is a girl who, who shares my playlist. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Which reminds me, let's do a drip check with you on Fever. If I looked into your phone, yeah. uh, what were sort of songs that I'd see right now? I think recently. Uh, it's been a lot of Arjit Singh songs, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and um, uh, on loop, I would say um, there was this. Um, there's a lot of music that comes up on Instagram, mm -hmm. you know, like oh my God, the, yes. the reels that yes. get stuck in your head sometimes. Mm -hmm. So there's this Nepali song that I've mm -hmm. uh, that, that that's been there, and uh, and you will find a lot of Rahman songs. Oh, a lot of Rahman on your playlist. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's been so fun talking to you simply because I think we don't get the opportunity usually to yeah. come down all the way and speak yeah. to you guys. But for my friends at Fever and Chennai, I'm sure this is going to be pretty awesome. <laughs>